Okay, I think we're all ready to put this carburetor back on. And I'm going to talk you through that. Hopefully it'll make sense. It can be a little bit of a headache because the way they've got this designed is, uh, you know, once this, you have to get everything onto these bolts, but once you, you, you can't access, you know, this air cleaner is just in the way. So I'm going to try something a little bit different. I hope that you'll be able to see this. And basically, it, re it means we're going to use temporarily a couple of these threaded rods that are M6 metric size, which is the same as the two uh, bolts that hold it all in place. Let me see if we can do this. And I'm going to start by Basically, you've got a lot of stuff. There's already gasket up there, and he didn't come down, so we're going to leave him there. Then we got the uh, the automatic choke mechanism, which was pretty stiff before, and it's doing a little better. So that goes next. Then you've got, hang with me, you'll see why it's complicated, a gasket. Then you've got the carburetor. Then you've got another gasket. Then you've got the air cleaner box, then you've got the two bolts. It, it's it's crazy and of course you also have to connect your breather tube, your your uh, fuel line and your <laughs> throttle linkages. So all that can be uh, challenging. So let's try it this way. First what I want to do is I want to connect my throttle cable the little wire Do that first. I'm also going to connect my fuel line. I uh, drained the old fuel, by the way, and added clean. We got a new clamp, so he's good. All right. So now I'm going to push the threaded rods through, just so they're there. All right. Now our choke mechanism and then this gasket. So I'm going to put the gasket on the threaded rod. I'm going to put the choke mechanism on the threaded rod. And at this point, I think I can push this up into place and start threading the rod in just a little bit. Threaded rod, choke mechanism. Okay, that one started. That one started. All right, so it's it, there. Now I can take my hands off and everything's still okay and in place. All right, now I can slide the this gasket on. Let me make sure I get it correct. All right, that's gonna be like that. Now I can slide this guy up. Connect my breather tube in the back. Which you can't see now, but it's okay. Trust me, it's there. 
Okay, so now everything's now everything's in place, uh, and I can hold it in, put some pressure against there, just to hold it all in place. Remove the one threaded rod. And start insert the bolt. Alright. Now I can do the same thing. Just using a little slight pressure against the air cleaner to hold it all in place. Remove the threaded rod. Insert the bolt. And now we can tighten these down. And that's a lot more doable than trying to wrestle with everything. So I used to use these threaded rods in place of these screws, and I'd just get some nuts and tighten them down, you know, cut them at the right length. But now I just use them temporarily, and I can use them over and over again. And I'm sure Honda does it that way in the factory originally, but it took me a long time to learn that little trick.